Hello everyone, this is the second video clip to introduce the recent studies of mine. Today we're going to talk about the social gap existing in lane changing maneuvers. So how do people make choices when their individual interests have a conflict with social benefits? When considering aggressive behaviors that are beneficial to selfish drivers in lane changing scenarios, risky lane changes could have significant impacts on the whole traffic system. For example, in the US, two vehicle lane change crashes comprised 9% of all police reported automobile crashes. And it is also the main reason for shock waves and congestion, which leads to a great reduction to road efficiency. To investigate the impacts, we usually need models to figure them out. Here we apply the game theory as our framework. Based on the priority of the client itself or the society, a new categorization system of game theory based lane changing models is created, including user optimal models that promote the driver's own benefit only, social optimal models that maximize the total welfare of the society, and hybrid user and social optimized models that balance user experience and system efficiency. For more details, please see the literature review part of this video series. As I said in the last video, a payoff table can clearly show the payoffs that players finally obtain at the end of this game. This is a two-player lynching game structure. But in some cases, we found Nash equilibrium tells us the best strategy could be, for example, changing lanes or not yielding, which is not the minimal total cost that is beneficial to both of players. We call this case a social dilemma problem when there is a conflict between personal choices and group benefits. To quantify this difference, we decide to estimate the driver's payoff from two perspectives, time cost and safety cost. So we assume drivers are greedy to get more travel time savings, while they also fear the po possible risks of loss. For time cost, we create parallel walls to calculate the travel time difference of walls with different consequences when players conclude their lane changing games. The product of value time and the time saving is the estimated cost of actual time spent, which contributes to the total cost before drivers can finally choose one of the strategies. Additionally, we consider both crash proximity by time to collision and crash severity to estimate the safety cost. I will introduce in detail how we model the crash severity in the next video. In this equation, beta is the only parameter that needs to be calibrated. So we calibrate it by a NGSIM data set that was collected from the US 101 highway behaviors with significant acceleration or deceleration values that ex uh, exceed thresholds can be judged as specific strategies in observations. The value of data beta then can be confirmed by comparing the actual and model probability distributions of strategies. After we are able to estimate driver's payoffs, we conduct a case study to find out the gap that exists in driver's rational decisions. We assume a scenario that the merging vehicle is faster than the lag vehicle when the game starts. 
we can adjust their distances and their speed differences to find some interesting results. Note this study is not a repeated game, but a one-shot game described in a classic game theory. So these experiments assume that players are mirrorless. Here's a table listing the input par parameters in this study. The results show that when the initial distance is rel relatively short, the merging vehicle takes less expense when it behaves aggressively, while the leg vehicle incurs a higher personal cost due to its cooperative behaviors. Therefore, their total cost is much higher than the expected minimum total cost. The difference between two costs is defined as the social gap that occurs where the social dilemma exists. It is similar to the price of anarchy, anarchy in the root choice literature. In free flow cases that are less congested, their distance can increase. These two dashed lines effectively coincide with each other and continue to decline. The distance between players is large enough for their non-operative behaviors to pose minimal potential risk. The second set of tests changes the initial speed difference of two drivers and compares their respective payoff contours. When the speed differences are small, actual costs are incurred to finish the lane changing maneuver compared to situations with large speed differences. The reason is that the large speed difference reduces the time required to finish the whole lane changing maneuvers. That means the large speed difference accelerates the completion of the game to mitigate the cost that players suffer. However, it also leads to a wide range in which mixed strategies exist. So players adopt high cost strategies more often in this case. To summarize, we apply game theory based lane changing models to help us understand the gaps existing in lane changing maneuvers. The social dilemma occurs when individual perf performance conflicts with uh, social go good behaviors. These gaps are further affected by the distance and the speed difference between two vehicles. To mitigate these gaps, one of the sufficient ways is to align drivers' individual choices with expected social outcomes. It could be restricted via regulation or motivated financially with tools like pricing schemes for lane changing at the maneuver level. Most scenarios like drivers may encounter in lane changing maneuvers should be investigated for other possible conclusions. For example, the merging vehicle drives at a lower speed than the leg vehicle. That should enrich the applications of this model for different complex conditions for the possible deployment in other simulation tools or on real roads. Thank you for watching this video and see you in next video.